Okay, guys, so <laughs> welcome back to Scum. So as you can see, things have changed. Basically, after the previous episode, we did a lot of searching, and I mean a lot. We were looking for hour after hour with no luck of finding a vehicle. So basically what we did was we stopped, we rested up, got some food, and then we ended up having a nap. When I woke up, Frank was gone. <laughs> now, we know he's been having blackouts, so I don't know if he's just wandered off somewhere, but he's nowhere to be seen. In the meantime, I did managed to stumble across this thing. I'll show you guys where it was. It was, if I can find it, these factories here, we did double back and we came around this area and then we eventually went all around the island this way, came around here and I believe where Frank should be is over here. This is where we stopped by. It was this dock and over this section, there was really nothing to show you guys. It was just traveling. So I'm basically updating everyone. Frank should be around this area somewhere or he's either wandered up this way. Either way, he's around this area somewhere. But that's not what we're doing today. While I was out on my travels, obviously finding this, and then I took the chance to loot the airport a little bit to try and get some supplies or anything that was left there, I managed to run. Let me just get rid of this guy real quick. I managed to run into what I thought was a survivor compound. Turns out it was the MC spot. They're over either here or here somewhere around, around this area it was near this town because that's why i was looting well i found them and this is what happened oh my god this poor car looks so beat up hello hi um oh man do you need some stuff for your vehicle uh kind of I, I, do you live here? Oh, yeah. You're part Hi, of I'm... the Wolfpack MC, and you're looking for prospects? Uh, yes, yes, we are. Hmm. Uh, how how does... Alex, by the way. Hey, Alex. I'm Mason. How, how does oh, someone become a, uh, a prospect? Um, so, essentially what happens is we'll need to speak to the president, of course, but then the uh, president will evaluate whether you're good enough to be a prospect. And then uh, prospect is basically a trial period um, until you're an official member. Oh, sorry about that. Oh. I, sorry about that. It's a nervous twitch that I have. Sorry, I've, I've, I'm really dehydrated. Oh, um, I, I hope you don't mind uh, sharing, but there's some water. Oh, thank you. I actually just uh, came back from uh, the south. I was looking at the weapons factory. I went into a very strange guy there. He uh, he thinks it's 2020 and that there's a plague. And he told me I should wear a mask. It was really weird. You did? Did you catch their name? I I honestly don't remember the name. Thank you for the water. Well, uh, I tell you what. Just go ahead and, and leave this here. Um, and come on inside. Okay, no. God, I hope this isn't a trap. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Could be the end of Mason. That big old house over there is like our general clubhouse where our um, main stores are at. But I'll take you over to my house. So they've got like a full setup here. There's... Okay, yeah. I won't Presidential... I heard stories of uh, of the MC around the island, but I didn't actually think you guys have this much of a setup. I thought it was just like a like a little thing to scare people. But you you guys are actually thriving. <laughs> wow, not at all like what people described you guys as. Well, so, um, well, I'm me, and uh, I'm a little bit different than some of the other people. Uh, thunder buns can be a, a little uh, trigger finger, you know. But he is nice. Uh, he's just wary of, of outsiders. Who did what? Uh, what's their name? Thunder Buns? Yeah, his name is Thunder Buns. And they got a great Thunder ass or something like that. <laughs> they oh. call themselves Thunder Buns. Yeah, but have you seen his calves? Now he oh, he's got those military shorts similar to yours. Oh, his calves are wonderful. Ah, okay, okay. So we found out that there's there's ten people here. I am playing stupid for a lot of it. I'm kind of taking advantage of the kindness that I'm getting, but I might not get that opportunity from somebody else. So we know there's a president. We know there's at least 10 members. I've got to go through the president in order to become a prospect. That's interesting. 
And I'm actually, I got inside the wall so easy too. Damn, okay. Let's uh, see what we can do about fixing this thing up. I mean, yeah, you just call me Ranger, dude. And and what's your role in this in this group? Uh, in this MC, I am Sergeant at Arms, Third in Command. So what does that mean? You control the weapons? Something like that, yeah. I'm responsible for weapons and uh, prospects. You know, like oh, uh, you're in charge of prospects. Here. Oh, I just spoke to Alex yeah. and she said I needed to speak to your president. And then uh, then your VP came along and then apparently you're going to put in a good word for me or something. But if you can do it, then are you looking for prospects? Yeah, Ranger is a part of the higher up, so he also handles that. I am the founder of this uh, motorcycle club. It's an MC, okay? Not a gang. We're a motorcycle club, motorcycle enthusiasts. Not a gang. Not a gang, okay? Got it. Not a gang. Club. It's a club. Understood. So let's just say, if we're cutting to the chase right now, Thunder Cheeks isn't here, and you get to say who becomes a prospect. What would I have to do? What would you tell me to do if, if I was to become a prospect for you guys? Well, right now, if, you, if you're trying to be a prospect, I'm going to have to go run you through your paces and take you somewhere, see if you can take care of yourself. That's what I mean. What, that what, you can well, I'm, I'm kind of asking what, what, is, what is required. Um, you know what? You've if you want to prove yourself for the last two uh, recruits, you know that, right? Yeah, I have, but I don't want. Well, What's Alex just told me that. I know who you are. You, my name's Mason. Um, I'm basically just a survivor on the road. I do have a friend, but he's not doing so hot right now. So I'm kind of on a mission of my own. I heard a story that there was a ninja on the island, and I was kind of hoping that they would have some kind of ancient medicine because. He's got chronic fatigue where he puts anything in his backpack, you know, nearly faints and blacks out. And I'm hoping you can help him with that. Oh, wow. But if you guys can teach me some extra okay. tricks, that's going to go a long way. Oh, we got all sorts of oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's a ninja on the island, you apparently. A ninja? <laughs> a ninja. Live in the flesh. Well, I'm a knight, so that's I, cool. I never heard of That's not the end of it. Ninja. Guess what his name is. What is it? Apparently, it's Chet. Chet. I yeah. have never heard of this person. Chet the Ninja. Kai Chet? I have no idea. I'm going to ask him if I get to meet him one day. In between all the uh, all the talk about prospects, do you guys trade things? Oh, yeah. Yeah, of course. What have you got for trade? Do you want to be a ninja? Do you want a katana? Very much so. Do you have a katana? Oh, yeah. 100% katana. Beautiful. You want to look at it? Uh, maybe. Is there anything you guys are looking for, like in need of? I'd say gas masks and uh, any kind of 50 BMP sardines. ammo, stuff like that. Oh yeah, lots, we love sardines. Oh and lots God, of so sardines. Much. So we're all on a diet here and like sardines are like low fat, high protein, so good. Um, we love sardines and we'll, we'll trade stuff for sardines, honestly. I can't believe you guys have got it so good that you get to pick and choose what you eat. I've been living off grubs oh, yeah. assholes for about 14 weeks now, and you guys are eating so good that you're able to pick and choose your diets. Yeah, yeah. Like, I have uh, stuff on me that I'm like, I can't eat this. This is for somebody who wants to be fat. I'm not, that's not <laughs> is this for somebody that wants to be fat? Not somebody Sardines. that wants to survive. Exactly, dude. We're out here surviving. Where did you get that from? <laughs> How long have you been eating sardines mm, yeah. for? Mm, well, you sardines, sardines in my factory. pockets. Always. So, okay. Anyway, I got a dip because I really do need to see if I can find this ninja. Um, I am going to be back though because I'd love to trade stuff with you guys. And if the option or the offer is still open of having a prospect, I'm absolutely down to try. Okay, I'll give it to you simple then. Uh, bring back a wolf's head. A wolf's head. Yeah. You see the you see the entrance right here on your right. I do. Yeah, every prospect brings a head, so we can add more to the wall. Okay. Are your doors always open, by the way? Uh, our main gate usually is open if uh, we're awake. Or end here. And there's nothing that I need to worry about if I'm inside? Like, nobody's going to, like, want to shoot me on sight or anything like that? You just no, let no, people we're, in? We're genuinely friendly. Yeah, we have a couple people who uh, come and go as they please, actually. 
I'm uh, I'm gonna go. Alex, thank you so much for the help with the car. And uh, nice to meet you, Jake the Snake on the Lake. And nice to meet you, VP. I'll definitely be back and take your offer up if you're still looking for prospects. Take care, though, okay? I'll be back soon. All right. Uh, before you go missing, hey, uh, if you ever in the town right here, we have a bike shop in there. You could, uh, I go saw it. I saw it when I went to. past, but nobody was there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God, you got to come over here for service if we're not over there. Got to come over here for service. Damn, you guys really are living well. <laughs> okay. Uh, before I mean, you, you go, see the walls? Pretty well do you still want that katana? Uh, I tell you what, Alex, keep that on ice for me. I'll be back, and uh, I'll absolutely trade you for stuff for that, okay? I I'm definitely going to be back. I want to impress the ninja if I ever meet him. Oh, I was going to offer it to you for free. Wait, really? Yeah. Okay. Um, I mean, sure, if, you, if, you, if you're going to do it for free, I'll take it. But I feel kind of bad that I don't really have anything that I can give you. Hold on, let me see. Um, I'm sure, I'm sure. If you become a prospect, you'll contribute. Wait, wait, wait. What about this? What about this? I do have one thing that you guys want. What's that? I know it's not much compared to a katana, but you said you wanted some sardines. Oh. <laughs> I can't believe I'm about to trade some sardines. Do you have others? Like other stuff to eat? Uh, yeah, I do. I can get by. I got some pasta and stuff, and I know where all the bugs are in the trees, so I'll be good. Can I just, just take a look at yeah. your weapon on your back a minute, please? Is uh, that... M16? Is that what I think it is, mounted to the top? Oh, an oil can suppressor, yeah. I, I no, 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 that. no, no, no. The scope. Is that an M82 scope? Oh, uh, let me look. I forget, actually. It's either a hunting scope or an M82 scope. I've never seen that before, that attachment. Um, this one is a P223 scope. And how are you mounting that? Does that just go straight on there? Or have you got some kind of like improvised rail or something that you've made? Oh, this one actually doesn't need a rail. Uh, you can just slap any scope on it, it seems like. Ooh, okay. Um, I tell you what then. I tell you what. I'll join you inside in a second. I'm going to take a look at some stuff that I have. And I want to know if you or any of the, uh, the rest of the MC have... Um, a rail available because I'm really uh, in need of I, one. I have, I have some already made. Yeah. Oh, you do? Okay, cool. Let me, yeah. uh, let me see what I've got to trade you. Then I'll meet you inside. Is that all right? All right. Um, I'll be standing in front of my cabin. I need to get something to drink. Roger that. I'll be there in two. Yeah, I could swap this V3 sight. I'm not in the need for a smoke grenade. I'm not going to need that. I'll see if they want to trade that. Maybe the MP5. I'll get rid of this too. I mean, I want to trade them something decent. They're showing a lot of faith in me there, considering that. <laughs> Uh, I don't know who they are, and they do not know me. And they've already offered me a katana, a prospect position, and uh, might be something that I really need in the shape of a rail for my sniper. You said you want a rail? Uh, if you have one, I don't know what my uh, rifle takes. I'm currently got a uh, Hunter 85. I don't know if it's a short or a long rail. I've not been able to uh, to make one yet. Okay, uh, try try this rail. See if it works. Ooh, a small MP5. I don't know if that's any use to you, but I'm 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 happy to trade that. Yeah, that's small a huge help. It's actually really nice because it'll it'll fit in a holster. So. Oh really? really? Okay. Yeah. Well, there you go. If you if you're happy to take it. Uh, what did they get? Oh, improvised rail. Let me just see. <gasps> oh, that's perfect. That fits exactly on my uh on my Hunter 85. Thank you so much for that. That's exactly what I needed. Great. Uh, do you got a scope to go with it? Uh, I do, I do. I've got a uh, a little makeshift one that I can use. I'm definitely not saying I've got a, an M82 scope. By the way, just really fast, just so you know how much we love sardines, look in this cooked food chest, this this wooden one right here. <laughs> oh my god. Like I said, if there's anything you guys want to keep my eyes open for, sardines I know is, is obviously something you're after, but if there's anything else, I'm... Uh, so, um, me personally... If you can find, like, nice arrows, I do appreciate that. Nice arrows. Okay, I've come across a few of them. Like, any of them? The metal ones and stuff like that? The carbon ones? Yep, yep. Okay, yeah, I got I it. Oh, look at that you've got there. What would you, uh, what would you be willing to trade for that thing in your holster? Is that your peacekeeper? What, this fucking magnum that I have right here? Yeah, the magnum. Before? What would you be willing to trade for that? Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, he did I get a fish. Bichon, Bichon, Bichon. Uh, if he doesn't want to trade that, I have an extra one that I don't use. 
Hold on, how big was it? Let us see it. Oh yeah. That's a good size actually. <laughs> Get that. Mmm. Premium specimen right there. Can you tell me what that's, that's, that's called? I'm I'm really bad with like identifying what type of fish are on this yeah, island. Yeah, 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 yeah. That 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 right there. That's uh, a Capri Sun a carp. Crucian. <laughs> Capri Sun. Crucian. Okay. A Capri Sun carp. Got it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Actually, they're actually very overpopulated. This carp. This is an invasive species. So if you actually, if you want to take it, you go ahead and take it. Oh, I'll absolutely take it. Thank you so much. Yeah. Just don't eat it raw, like our friend Goblin. Goblin? Oh yeah, yeah. He's oh. he's uh he's a character, all right. He's called um, Goblin. Yeah. He, he well, he is a goblin. Just just hear it from my perspective. You guys, this is the first time I've met you guys today, and you tell me that your president, who runs the whole joint, his name is Thundercheeks. Oh, Thunder Thunderbuns. Okay. Right. That's his name. And then I meet you, Alex. You've basically given me the rundown on how to fix a car. You've given me my whole setup for my rifle. And you've basically given me a katana for basically free when I was told you guys were stone cold killers. And I asked if anybody else is here. You tell me there is somebody that is on their way who calls themselves Ranger Danger, Jake the Snake on a Lake. And he whips out a fishing rod and whips uh, a Capri Sun carp out of the water. It's just been one hell of a day. You go find your friend and you come back here. And then oh we'll my fucking god, you guys have got company. Who's that in the bush? Oh, it's Goblin! Uh, Mason? Hey, buddy, come over here. You wanna say hi? Mason? Hold on, Mason. Yep. Yep. Come on, you got a fish in your pocket. Do, Don't get too close. Do not make direct eye contact with Goblin, okay? Why? Just, he's been trained to go for the throat, okay? Just, actually, just, if you, he's if like, you want him to like you, give him the fish. Oh, that's actually a good idea. So I say, I say, get, let him have the fish. Let him sniff you. He's like, he's like a dog. You know what I mean? Oh, that noise it made. Uh, it's just a th something in his throat. Yeah, give him a peace Goblin. offering. And I don't look at him. Uh, not direct eye contact. That's all. Do you wanna, no sudden moves either. Friend? He's really nice. I think he has something for you. Oh my god, he's growling at me. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. Pull out the fish. Goblin, do you want a fish? Look what he brought for you. <laughs> That's actually terrifying. Oh, there he is. <laughs> there he is. Don't move, Mason. This is the weirdest MC I think I could have ever found. Did he take the fish? Did he take the fish? Yeah, he yeah, fucking he yoinked it. it. Fish. I've n Did it just speak? Yeah, he, he formed some words sometimes. I've never been more terrified in my entire life. And I've seen some shit. Let him, let him smell you. I don't smell so good. Neither does he, it's fine. That's a good thing. The, the worse the smell, the better. Oh my god. Okay, whatever you do, don't make direct eye contact. I think he gave me a fish. A part of his fish. That means he likes you! Say thank you. Thank you. Everything's okay, Goblin. You'll be fine. Can I move? Yeah, you're good. Yeah, you're fine. So as you guys can see, they've not really given me any reason not to trust them, even though there's a few sketch people or characters in that group. And I guess there always is in survivor groups like that. But in particular, the one that was sniffing me with the fish <laughs> really creeped me out. But they've given me a task. 
And that is to bring back a wolf's head. As there, I believe they call himself the wolf pack. For every single prospect, you have to do like an initiation and take down a wolf and bring back its head over to the MC. And that way, I think that will give me and Frank permission to take on the role of a prospect or at least get us in on good standing where we can have that conversation. So, and I want to know what happens from that. The more friends we have, the better. The more enemies, you're just going to constantly be hunted down. I'm not saying that we're on good terms yet, but I guess we're going to see. Let me just quickly check what's in this. Also, I don't know if you guys saw what I, uh, what I spoke to Alex about. I noticed that they had this crazy looking scope on what I think was an M16 or something like that. It looked really, really good. And it gave me an idea because... One of you guys actually said after the previous episode that you can attach the M82 scope that I found to this. And it's using this rail that you see on the top. This is a short improvised rail. I think it is it a short improvised rail or a side improvised rail? Improvised rifle rail. There's a few of them that you can actually find. Let me show you guys. There's this one. The short. Oh, no. This is the short one. Long improvised rail. Where is the other one then? I don't know if I'm going to be able to see. Either way, you guys can see what this thing looks like. I'll show you again so you know. But it's like two scrap, and she had one ready to go. So I'm going to do it here right now. We're going to put the M82 scope on this. And as easy as that. And there it is. It might look a little bit derpy just because of the size of it, but we're using an M82 scope on a hunter. Look at this thing. Oh, my. God, I mean, you would have to do this, wouldn't you? In, in this kind of situation, you make do with what you've got. And if you can fabricate some kind of rail mount for a scope, I mean, you absolutely would do that. And tell me that doesn't look badass with that massive scope on there. I'm just thinking now, is it a good idea to loot the airfield while I've got time? I've got a little bit of ammunition that I can use. I do have the katana, even though those things hit really, really hard. I think... I can just about... Oh, no, don't do this. i got to keep the car moving. I've already gone through, like, my spare battery that I found. Let me just quickly check, make sure none of these things are open. Oh, no, don't want to be near you. Go away, go away. Let's go this way. What we got? This is the area that I'd like to look at. Oh, there's a beeper. Oh, do you guys hear that? Don't stall. Gotta go. Oh, that's a lot of them. There we go. Amount of ammunition with the M. Yeah, I'm not risking this. There's a lot of them around here. Last time I came to visit this spot, it wasn't half this bad. Although, oh, I kind of want to look in there. How are we doing? Let's see. Battery's not too bad. Okay, yeah, I think what I'm going to do... It's just drive around the airfield a little bit. I've got plenty of space that I know I can avoid those things. And that way it'll give me the opportunity to charge the battery up. Just in case things get a little bit too sketch. And I'm in a building and I need to run out to the vehicle. I'm not going to have a flat battery because, you know, it hasn't charged up or anything like that. So, I think we'll be smart with it. Those are the bunkers that we're going to take a look at though. Or at least the buildings. I don't quite know what to call those things. I know they've got a name. Let's keep going. I'll be back with you guys once I've got a little bit of charge in this thing. Look at my shoes too. Found some nice shoes and they're all ripped up. I'm pissed about that. Ooh, I've just thought too. Where's the building? Oh, there's one right next to this one. Sometimes the buildings have like a little workshop in them with those drill presses, don't they? So I think I might be able to make that oil can suppressor. This thing. If we, uh, if we come across that. Yeah, I'm just going to leave those there. And if the rain does roll in, which it doesn't look like it is now, but a second ago it went pretty dark. But yeah, I think in, in these buildings here, you sometimes get those presses. Not these ones. That's more like the military barracks. Let's see. I should probably keep this quiet too. Switch the katana. I know this is <laughs> doing exactly what I said I wasn't going to, but sometimes you can't help it. And if I find something that's going to be useful, then it would have been worth doing. We are going to go looking for a wolf in a second, though. I promise. If I can get that suppressor, though, and I guess... That helps out. Perfect. That's exactly what I needed. I just thought when I was out there then, wait a minute, what's inside these buildings exactly? I totally forgot that I'm going to need a toolbox, so let's go back into crafting and get ourselves one of these cool suppressors. I'm not sure if it does anything different than the one I'm currently using with the, uh, the can, but I like it. It's blue.
We'll take it. There we go. And place on this. So this is now what we end up with. We've got the blue oil can suppressor on the front. If I don't want to use the scope, I can change to this here. It's a little bit of an eyesore, but still works. Hey there. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I know this might sound like an odd question. Um, I don't know if you live around this area or anything like that. I'm actually looking for specific wildlife, in particular a wolf. Would you happen to know where to find any of them? What are you doing with that bow? Um, I know across the large base, if you go straight down this road, there's a forest in that direction. Okay. And you think that's going to be a good shot for finding some wolves back there, right? Did you say it was over behind you, the, the large base? That's actually what I'm looking for. I'm a bit turned around. Uh, yeah, the large base is going to be straight down this road to your left. Okay, perfect. Can I just ask you a quick question? Where did you find yeah. that vehicle? That one right there? It was uh, one of our pack members brought it to me. One of your pack? Oh, you're part of the MC. Oh, okay. Well, nice to meet you. My name's Mason. I'm actually doing some work for the MC right now. They've asked me to bring back a, a wolf head because I'm trying to be a prospect. Oh. Uh, yeah. I know the boss isn't here right now. But um, if you're looking for wolves, though, you're going to want to go to the forest to the left of that across. I want to know how you've got my car. So who who got yeah. you that vehicle then? Because I could have swore I saw that vehicle driving around. It, I just It looks familiar to me. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why it would look so familiar to you. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to go and head off. I'm going to see if I can find some animals. Thank you for your help anyway. What was your name again? Mine is uh, Angel. Twisted Angel. Okay, Angel. Nice to meet you. I'm going to be off. I'll hopefully see you soon, though, if I can bring back a wolf head. Oh, there we go. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> Take care. Come on. Don't embarrass me in front of the MC. There we go. That looked very familiar. I can't pinpoint that truck being mine. <laughs> but there's only two trucks that I've seen. This one and that other one. And that was, you guys will recognize that. And if one of the MC brought that back, then they were either hot on our tail or they just happened to find where we left it, which is really tucked out of the way too. So I don't know. I'm going to have to ask them if they were following a couple of people. Oh, there's something over there. Ooh, this road is no joke. <laughs> Super slippery. Okay, where are we headed? So we've got the option to do a left down here. I don't actually know what is that way. Let's go and investigate. I'm not going to get sidetracked. I know we're after a wolf, but... Ooh, that's a compound. I have never seen that before. That's a pretty big compound, too. Seems as though the mechs are currently deactivated. Is it full of those things? Okay, yeah, there's a few of them in there, but nothing we can't handle. Ooh. Oh, that's a broken down one. I thought that was somebody else's car. This reminds me of a show that I watched before I came to the island. Like, there's double layers like that. Oh, wait, is this... Oh, this... Hold on, no. Let's turn this off a second. Is this a prison? It could be. It's a weird looking prison. Not anything that I'm used to, but it definitely could be. How would I get inside of there? There's got to be a gate, right? I'm kind of interested now. Oh, you squeeze through. Come on, then. Actually, nope. Let's keep it quiet. See if I can just poke through one of those gaps. <laughs> Keep reaching through. There we go. We got it. <laughs> Just managed to poke it through the railing. Yeah, there's a few inside there. There's a hole in the fence too. Is there anything down this way? Oh yeah, we got one. I mean, not for nothing. At least we'll do a little bit of adventure. If we don't find a wolf today, at least I can get the backup from Frank. I'm going to go and have a look in the area where he was. I can take you out without those guys hearing. Come on, big guy. Nice. Oh. All that riot gear just gave you an extra life. 
probably leave that open though. What we got? Oh yeah, no, there's a few here. Come on then. Oh. Might be a little bit dehydrated. Seeing things. Is it worth... Ooh, there's two of them there. This is a prison, isn't it? Seems that way. Like, you got the guard towers all the way around. You got the walls confining the prisoners in. What are these buildings, though? Is this where the cells will be? I'm really interested about this place now. Oh, yeah, it is. Look, there's the walls. Oh, my God. We should... Oh, could we turn this place into, like, a little... Little safe zone? I'm going to create a bottleneck here. See if I can get him out of there. Come on, then, big guy. If anybody's watching this now, <laughs> it's going to look so weird. <laughs> I'm just investigating the prison. Oh, it might be... Ooh, there we go. I need one of those. Stab-proof vest, too. Can I hold on to that? Yeah, I can make some, some room and keep that with us. I'm going to put that on me, too. Why not? A little bit more heat. Or more layers, I guess. <laughs> if anything. Put you down there. I think I can store you. Yep, I got the space for it. Then that should be enough. I don't know, we might need that. It's not often you see those. Alright, I had this idea that I wanted to be one of the guards looking after this prison, so let's light the flare up. I'm gonna bring these guys, try it over in that spot, so there we go, that kind of works. It's in between the two of them. We should rile them up a little bit so I can get some headshots. Let's double check. Can't quite see it because of this massive scope. And what range is that? Dial it down. Oh yeah, these guys really take it. A minute to go down. Oh. <laughs> They're all coming in. You coming over? Try to get in midair. Don't want to jam this thing up. I do have a weapons kit, but definitely don't want to use it up. Can we get a shot. There's one down. Constantly having to check my ammunition because I am running dry. Is he coming this way? <laughs> that works. <laughs> She might be able to squeeze through those bars. Don't like the skinny ones. You Is that one just chasing a bird? Yep. There we go. Just making sure that one's taken care of. Slow it down a little bit. I don't need to sprint around here. I'm, I'm going to use this time, though. Oh my god, this is just... <laughs> you know how I said that I saw this show? Before I was put on this island? It was actually one of my favorite shows, at least the first couple of seasons. It's like a mirror image of the prison that was in that show. That's really, really cool. It's got the crosswalk there, these doors. Even the... These things were over there. What's that? Oh, it's inside. Okay. Oh, you got, like, gym equipment out there. All right. Let's see what this place has got. I'm definitely investigating, though. Nope, more 22 rounds, too. Both of those I needed. So that was good. That was worth it. But, yeah, like I say, if we don't manage to find the wolves today, we'll widen our search pattern with Frank next time. If, <laughs> if I can find him. Like I say, I have no idea where he went. I've got an idea, and I can always wait at one of the uh, rendezvous points. Which, so far, is one of two caves, which are pretty close together. Where the fuck did you come from? That cage, right? Squeeze through the uh, rails. <sighs> Better be on your toes. What's this? Nine mil armor piercing. Hell yes, give me that. I don't think I've ever seen that before. And that eye patch. There's a split in the gate there. You gonna come through? 
shit, I hit, I hit the gate then. What are we looking like? Gotta be running dry soon. Yep, two rounds. We got more back up though, cause we just found some. <laughs> I definitely didn't expect today to go like this. And I absolutely... Did. Oh! Give me that. You guys know how I feel about the MP5. Oh, this thing. Look at it. Wait, can we not... Oh, it doesn't have a mag. Wait, no! I traded the mag that I found for one of these things with Alex. Oh, you know what? Get rid of the vest. I'm holding on to this thing. Can you combine... Oh, I didn't know you could do that. You can combine mixed ammunition? So I've got tracer rounds, normal ammunition, and now I've got AP rounds for this too? I wonder if that increases the likelihood of a jam or anything like that, because I'm not sure how that works. Somebody let me know in the comments if that is the case. Can If you mix up the different ammunition types... I'm, I'm saying in this, by the way. If you mix up the ammunition types, can it, like... Higher the chances of giving it a jam? I don't know. I don't know why I would say that. I just, I just don't quite know. Let me know in the comments. Don't you... <laughs> bitch. Oh, this is... <gasps> it actually is identical. I really hope you guys watching know what I'm referring to. You've ever seen a show called The Walking Dead? I genuinely didn't know that this place was... Or at least it's really similar. I don't know if it's exactly the same. Oh, this is where the survivors would have stayed. Let's see. Hat. Nothing else really going to be in these cells, right? Nothing like uh, high value that I can take with us. I wonder if he's got like the uh, the basement. At least in the show, I remember there being an underneath... Which was really, really sketch. If you've seen the show, you know what I'm talking about. This video is sponsored by The Ridge. So the good people over at The Ridge got such good feedback from you guys last time that they were kind enough to help support the channel once again. If you haven't heard of Ridge Wallet by now, then you are seriously missing out. And there's a link in the description so you can check out the products and take a look for yourself. Personally, I have the Forge Carbon and it's real slick, but I'm thinking of either getting the Matte Olive or the Burnt Titanium. If you like what you see and you decide to change your cracked, busted, bulky old wallet, don't forget to use code FOOSTER10 at checkout to get yourself 10% off. Once again, that's ridge.com forward slash FOOSTER10 and don't forget to use FOOSTER10 at checkout. Thank you to the team over at the Ridge for sponsoring today's video. Oh yeah, 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 okay, this is a different spot. And is this the underground? Oh my god! <laughs> oh, this is so badass! The keypad too? I wonder if we could get that working. If we could hook up like a generator or something. I really, I'm just going to take a quick peek at this. Is there anything different? Or... Okay, on there. And we got a few down there too. I imagine there's going to be some underneath. Let's go and check that out. God, this is so cool. I'm so sorry that we didn't get the wolf. We'll get round to it. I mean, there's no rush. Pretty sure the MC are going to be busy today, but... I have to come and check this out. We had to. Could you imagine now if we find, like, all of the wet? Oh, wait a minute. Ambulance area. Oh, yeah, these are the tunnels. Close up. Can we see anything? Looks like at one point, though, they might have been watching us from here. Or is this just a monitoring station for this prison? Really, really cool uh, warehouse. So there's just some storage back down that way. Let's check out the ambulance. I'm absolutely going in there, by the way. I'm keeping you guys in suspense. You already know. <laughs> I don't think there's anything in here. Oh, wait, we got a friend. A double tap. And down there. Oh, yeah, this is it. I wonder if there's like a big open area. Like a hole in the side of the building somewhere that I haven't discovered yet. Workshop. Leads into there. I'm just peeking through the window. Okay, it's time to check out the armory. I've had enough fun looking around, keeping you guys in suspense. <laughs> Let's see what it's got. Anything inside? Oh, yeah, we got some stuff. All kinds of lockers. Oh, my God. This place is so good. Even for clothes, too. Like, if I didn't have any of this stuff, I'm going to keep all of that. I wanted a boonie hat. 
Got a holster there too. Oh, I have to bring Frank. Oh! Do they work? Do they work? Oh, they work too! Oh, I have to bring Frank back here. This is a, the jackpot. This is legit the jackpot, and I can store things in there too. Let me hold on to that. Let's see, what can we hold on to? Clothing. I'm going to hold on to, like, ammunition. Anything that, like, even, even shoes and stuff that we might need. Sure, I'll hold on to that. More clothing, the better. Hiking boots. I know where they are. I can come back to them if I've got space. More hiking boots. Oh, yeah, this is, this is good. And an empty bag. I know we can make, like, a, uh, a head bag so people can't... Hunting scope. Nice. I'm keeping my M82 on it, though. I gotta pick all of these open, don't I? So let's go through these first. M9 mag, 556-45. This is gonna be all good stuff. I mean, let's just say that we don't have the time to go after a wolf. Or even if we wanted it on our own terms with the uh, with the MC. Where we say to them, listen, we didn't find a wolf. But we found stuff we, we can trade with. If we can get on their good side because of the stuff we found, maybe... That'll sweeten the deal a little bit more, and they might be like, okay, well, you're good to us in other ways, where you don't need to take out a wolf to prove your point. But you did bring us back some sweet loot, so <laughs> you're in, you get a chance. Where was we when I found that? Was it in here? Ah, there we go. Box of safety pins. I was just going to say, I left <laughs> all my, uh, my lockpicks in the vehicle, and I definitely didn't want to go all the way back, so... I'm just going to make a bunch of these right now, and then I'm going to try and pick away at all this stuff. There's the first one, and... Okay, we'll leave that for now. And this one... Had an MP5 in it. Oh my god. Wait, can we still do that same trick? Where we just drag, like that? And... In this one, we get... Okay, an M19. Okay, so there's not like... A massive variety of weapons. Maybe it's just going to be MP5s. A couple of pistols or something. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to grumble at that. It's a whole lot of stuff we can trade. Uh, okay, yeah, I'm absolutely holding on to that. Okay, so that's done. And did we check all of this? Yeah, I think we did, right? This was... Okay, maybe not. This is where I threw the flare, though. And... Ooh, an AK mag. That might be useful. And... Is there going to be a revolver in any one of these? For now, that is the prison. And, oh my god, that was a really cool find. I had no idea that we were going to stumble across this today, but I'm so glad that we did. Let me just check these last few ones. I can't resist. I want to know if we're going to come across that revolver. I will keep searching high and low for it, but no sign of it just yet. Flares hats okay yep yeah. let's get back to the car i think what i'm gonna do is just organize my inventory and then <laughs> prepare to go and find frank so we can go and take on that wolf so i guess guys for now this is where we are going to end it and what a cool spot to end to i'm so happy that we came across this and it wasn't intentional either i swear to you guys we just kind of stumbled across it because i came up into the snow biome to or the cold biome to to look for some wolves because i've seen them here a few times but yeah this is a really really cool find and i'm so happy that we did so for now guys this is where we're going to end if you did enjoy it drop a like on the video subscribe if you are new and i'll see you all in the next one